for today's lineups for all again, starting with the visitors Russian and Diamonds. In goal, number 17, Matt Finlay. Okay, here with man of the match, Elliot Sandy. Elliot, disappointing result tonight? Yeah, really frustrating. I thought we had a, a really good first half. Uh, we obviously got the goal that we'd been sort of missing in the first half of games, and it only looked like we were going to push on and get more goals. Um, unfortunately, we didn't at half, uh, up till half time, but uh, I more than thought uh, we were going to go on and win the game at that point. Yeah, I thought we played really, really well first half. Could have gone two or three up. 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, we had lots of chances, balls flashing across the box. Uh, again, still think we've we just been a little bit unlucky in front of goal. Obviously, I had a header early on that hit the inside of the post and come back across and it doesn't fall to anybody. Um, but yeah, re really impressive start. It's the best I feel we've played since I've been here going forward, definitely. And then a penalty just before half-time? Yeah, it's poor from us, really. We've got caught on the break. Um, the lads got in. It's still a bit soft. I'm a long way from it, but I, so I can't really comment on it too much. It seemed a bit soft, and he was running away from it a bit. But um, obviously a great save from Finners. So, um, yeah, we were, we were obviously glad we were still 1-0 at the time. And we came out and we missed a chance early on in the second half. And then they went up the other end and got a penalty. Yeah, um, I thought we, again, started the second half really well. Uh, we were on the front foot, pushing forward, looking for that second goal. And then, uh, it, to me anyway, it just looked a, a ridiculous penalty. But obviously he's given it and we, we have to accept that, I'm afraid. And then the killer blow with their uh, their other attempt in the second half. Yeah, um, I just think our heads uh, sort of went a little bit and our game sort of fell away. We were still trying to push for the win, obviously, um, on the front foot and it just opened the game up a bit. And to be fair to them, they've got a few tidy players. I know I know their midfielder who was uh, with me at Ketchum at the start of the year. He found a bit of space and uh, played a good ball through and the lads finished it well, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a shame they haven't been able to play like that week in, week out. They'd be up a lot higher, wouldn't they? Yeah, definitely. It, it's so frustrating, but we know we're going to get it. Uh, we're, we're the biggest club at this level. Um, teams are going to look to, to get one over on as simple as that um, from what the players, their players are saying on the pitch and you can see the reaction of, of their players at the final whistle and it seems to be week in week out um, but that means we need to spur, spur ourselves on to really lift ourselves an extra bit and really push on and bat, battle well which I think we did today and we're very unlucky to come away with a defeat So looking about us back Saturday now Oh, big time. There's still a hell of a lot to play for. Uh, what is it, five games, five, six games? Yeah. Yeah, so, so so we're more than capable of uh, going on a run of games. I don't feel we deserve to lose today. We're on the back of a defeat, but it's how you bounce back from it. We've we've got five games that I feel are definitely winnable. A lot of home games to come. Um, so hopefully the fans will get behind us now and really push us on to the end of the season because uh, it's still all there for us. Thanks very much for coming and talking to us. Appreciate it. No problem. Okay, here with uh, manager Andy Peaks. Andy, disappointed? You could say that, John. Yeah, we started really well, I thought, first half. What do you think? I thought first half we played really well, created loads of chances. Only got the one goal, which was a bit of a concern. But yeah, I thought the football was really good and we looked dangerous every time we went forward. And, uh, you know, we hit the post, as you say, and, and, you know, Elliot got us off the mark and it was good to be in front. Yeah, no, I, I sat there probably the first time for a few weeks, quite relaxed, thinking, you know, we're in a good position here, we're playing some good stuff, we look like creating stuff every time we go forward. And yeah, so at that stage, it looked really, really good. Just see, I thought it was a matter of time for the second game? No, I thought we always need the second. I always think you do it at football because you know it can soon turn around with any decision or any bit of brilliance. Um, and that, that sort of happened tonight. And then obviously the penalty just for half time? Yeah, the. Penalty half time obviously gave them a lift. I mean, it obviously gave us a bit of a lift because Finners made a great save. So we went in at half time, still a goal up. Um, my, my talk was, you know, come out, well, the rematch was to come out second half and start like he did the first half, which to be honest, I thought we did. Again, created a couple of good opportunities which didn't go in. Um, and then we fell victim to another penalty. Yeah, I mean, I, difficult to see it from, from where I was, but your thoughts on that? I'll look at it again, but from my first thoughts, sir, it was not a great decision, but. To be fair, I've been used, expected that a little bit tonight with some of the decisions that went on, but I don't want to say too much because it's not about the referee, it's about us. But from the reaction I got from the boys, they weren't particularly happy with it. I think it was outside the box and there weren't a lot in it. And, you know, their, their bench thought it was quite funny as well. They'd got another one in them circumstances. But at the end of the day, we should, you know, we have to learn from that and we have to go again. And then a killer blow with their second goal. Yeah, again, they broke away, didn't they, and put the ball. He had a good chance and he took it in and put it in the net and we're 2 1 down. Still plenty of time to go. I um, still felt we'd get back in it. I thought we had plenty of possession. I thought we huffed and puffed. We had a few half chances that it's someone on the line and sort of thing we've had recently. But, yeah, disappointed to come away with nothing tonight, to be honest, John, because I thought we played some good stuff, not like some of the other games where we haven't created a lot. We've created a lot of chances tonight. We could have been free up before they even had the first penalty. So, pleased in one on one hand, but really disappointed to get nothing tonight because I felt we, you know, 1-0 
the start of the second half playing well. I thought this is back to the sort of team we've been, you know, and back to where we want to be. And obviously we've had a couple of decisions gone against us and it's a massive whammy, but that's football. We've been here long enough to know that we'll bounce back, we'll take it on the chin and we'll have to come back even stronger now Saturday. Yeah, big game now Saturday. They're all big games, aren't they? They've all been big games from... Well, since I've been at the club, I think, again, Owlsley have shown tonight what a big game it was for them because it's AFC Ridge and Diamonds. Yeah, we've got big games right to the end of the season. Um, it's important we win Saturday. Um, I still believe we can win the next five games and that'll put us in a good position. So, not despondent, just really disappointed. Thanks very much for coming to talk to us. I don't